The attorney defending the man suspected in the recent kidnapping and murder of a four-year-old boy in Dallas believes his client suffers from schizophrenia. 18-year-old Darian Brown is charged with kidnapping a four-year-old, four-year-old Cash Gurnan, and could face an additional charge for the boy's murder. Brown is also charged with burglary. Fox 4's Peyton Heather interviewed Brown's attorney and joins us now. Peyton. Heather, Darian Brown and his attorney both claim that Brown is not guilty on all current charges, despite Dallas police saying a capital murder charge is likely coming following a forensic exam. But today I spoke with Brown's attorney and he told me, quote, he's looking forward to defending his client. Two and a half weeks after police say four-year-old Cash Gurnan was kidnapped from his home and discovered dead in a Dallas street, a memorial still stands. Meanwhile, 18-year-old Darian Brown sits in the county jail facing kidnapping and burglary charges in connection to the child's disappearance and death. And while detectives continue to build their case, Brown's attorney, Heath Harris, says he's doing the same, speaking on camera to Fox 4 for the first time. My thing is, I just want this case to... Uh, we want all the evidence to come out. The boy's father says Monica Sherrod, a friend of his, had been looking after the four-year-old and his twin brother. Brown's arrest affidavit says Sherrod identified Brown in surveillance video from the boy's room as the person who took Gernon from his crib. Less than two hours later, police say the four-year-old was found dead with multiple stab wounds just blocks away. Sherrod's son, who also lives with the twins, spoke to Fox four days after the murder. He revealed he knew Brown. What he did was wrong. And I don't know why. I don't know what made him think that this is all right. Police say Brown also lived in the same southwest Dallas neighborhood. But Harris says that's not Brown in the video. They may have a witness that believes that they can testify that that's Darren Brown. But I want an opportunity to challenge that witness. Even if you believe, Miss Sharon, that that is Darren Brown on the video. Uh, uh, taking cash out of the crib, right? Okay, then what happened? Then what happened? What happened? You got three seconds. Court records also revealed in February, Brown broke into a home a few doors down from where the four-year-old lived, assaulted a homeowner, and tried to take his two-year-old granddaughter. The grandfather only pressed charges three days after Cash was found dead. And according to court documents, he did not press charges right away because Monica Sherrod claimed Brown was going through a mental crisis and would sometimes stay at her house. Harris confirms Brown had been to a mental health facility, but was later released. Based on what I believe is, 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 is uh, I'm going to be able to support that this kid is schizophrenic. We want to see if this is a, a, a situation where we have a who done it, you know, yeah. or if it's just a simple question of why. Why and could it have been prevented? A motive is still a mystery. mystery. The medical examiner told us today the autopsy report is not ready yet and it could be more than a month until it's release.